is cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Whitney with That Whitney Life. In this video, I have three. Christmas DIY wreaths for you that I'm really excited about. I think they turned out really cute. Um, well, also, kind of story time. I did have to skip a week of videos because I bought a new camera. And, I mean, it was kind of a cheapy camera. It wasn't, like, super cheap, but it wasn't, like, the best. You know, I didn't really want to go that route right now. So, I did get one that was a little bit on the cheaper end, but... It was working fine, um, and I did film a lot with it. I had like an entire video planned that I pretty much had filmed and I just needed to get it off the computer and edited. So I went to go put all the footage on my computer and the videos, like the camera, the format of it is actually a format that most computers don't support. So I was really disappointed in that had to send it back. I got a wide angle lens for it as well. And it was more like a fisheye lens, if you know what I mean. So, um, I was kind of disappointed in that as well. Um, so I sent that back, but I didn't have any footage for a video. So here we are a week skipped, you know, we can't be perfect all the time, but anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and God bless. For the first DIY, I'm taking this um, pine wreath form that I got at Joann's last year, right after Christmas. So it was only a few bucks. Some Dollar Tree de red deco mesh and some pipe cleaners. And I'm just going to pipe cleaner the deco mesh on. Um, I did about 10 inch floops, I would say. And I used two rolls of the Dollar Tree, about two rolls of the Dollar Tree um, red deco mesh and then I used a roll of white. This red I've had, I think I got last year, so I don't actually know how much it is, but I would say um, one roll can go around two times. So, you know, use whatever you want. But I just kept going around until I filled it out how I wanted. I probably used, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five pipe cleaners. I did add a second um, pipe cleaner to each spot because I wanted the deco mesh to be on the outside and the inside of the wreath so it would cover up as much of that pine as I could. Um, but that's what I did. If you don't want to add that second pipe cleaner, no need to, but I thought it worked out pretty well. You and me. The snow is falling down and the storm is on its way. As long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself. Now it's time to make a bow, of course, and I'm just going to kind of speed through this because you've seen me make these bows a million times and I can always do like an in-depth tutorial of different types of bows and whatnot. Um, but, you know, loop it over on itself about six times, notch it, fold it, notch it in the middle, secure it with a pipe cleaner, and then fluff it out. since July I've been happier than I have ever been it's safe to say that my love for you is true tomorrow once you have it fluffed how you want it to just go ahead and attach it to the wreath it is Christmas the first for me and you 
Now this is a Dollar Tree sign that says, "'Tis the season to be jolly." And I'm gonna put this in the middle of the wreath. So I'm taking four pipe cleaners, I'm gonna do one at the top, one at the bottom, and one on each side, and just glue it on really well. And I'm gonna put it, touch it to the middle of the wreath. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow. These are some Dollar Tree poinsettias. Um, there's white and red, and I'm just using these to cover up the pipe cleaners. And then those are um, Christmas or the Dollar Tree Christmas bulbs. So I'm gonna do one bulb on each pipe cleaner, and then um, one of each color of flower on it. Just glue those right in, and that's it. Ooh, Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated every. And here it is all done. I love how this turned out. I think it's so cute fun, whimsical, all the things. It'll be perfect for a window decoration in my kitchen and I cannot wait to put it up. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. This next wreath is going to be more of a swag and I'm taking two Dollar Tree um, janky Charlie Brown Christmas trees. Um, they're about 18 inches, and I'm going to fluff them out, uh, or pull the branches out, but have them flat. And I'm going to do that to both of them, and then I secure them with a pipe cleaner, and also the Dollar Tree um, garland ties, and the garland ties are also going to fill these out, because if you've ever worked with these trees, they um, are not the fullest trees on the planet. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in my Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time now this bow was a mess up from another project and I kind of fixed it and I liked it so I put this bow on there sorry you didn't see how I made it but you've seen them a million times same way I do every bow and then these picks are from Joann's um, I got them last year and I just stuffed those in and then these are the Dollar Tree Christmas bulbs that I just glued on and then I went and dovetail I actually cut down I didn't want tails on the bow so I cut that off now I'm going to make a little peppermint candies and I'm going to take, um, you take pipe cleaner of whatever colors you want, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to twist them, um, over on themselves until the entire thing is twisted. And then, um, I'm going to roll them and you're going to want to glue in between <clears throat> the rolls as well as the very end of it. Um, they do like to pop out. They don't stay um, without the glue very well and you'll kind of have it it'll unravel and you don't want that you want it to be as tight as you can get it so glue the end of it and then again if you're like me like I do in like every single video I burn the heck out of myself with hot glue um, I do it every time and you know it just adds that creative flair that everybody wants in their crafts just a burned finger it's awesome and then I took um, these Dollar Tree striped straws and I glued that on for the stick. And your peppermint candy is coming together. 
Then we're going to put a little bow on it. And I'm taking the Dollar Tree striped ribbon. And I'm just making a super easy like shoelace bow, just a simple bow. And you're going to want to keep pulling and then tightening it and pulling and tightening it until you get it as small as you want. Because you do want these pretty small. And then just glue that on and you have peppermint candies. I did four of these. And I put those wherever I dang well pleased. Now I did decide that there wasn't enough bulbs on it. I thought it looked kind of funky with just the three. So I added more. One of each color more. And that is it for this little wreath. Here's the finished product. I think it's so fun and cute and it's perfect for my dining room. This is totally the color scheme that I'm going for. Just really fun and colorful and bright and holly jolly and all the feels and I really love it. I think it goes perfect in there. Now this last wreath I'm just using this stocking from the Dollar Tree and pulling off all the tinsel. You've seen me do this a lot. I love using these as wreath forms because they have um, a wider variety of these than they do like actually the metal wreath forms that you are supposed to use for wreaths. But how many times can I say wreath form? Anyways, take all the tinsel off, get rid of it, and then cut off all those little knobs. Um, these are just wire cutters. I think wire cutters uh, work very well. Scissors do work, but wire cutters are better. Um, and I'm only cutting it off the stocking part, the top part, um, you're not even going to see, so just leave that alone. And then I have this striped uh, fabric that I got from Joann's, and I'm just going to wrap this as tight as I can in this fabric. I did double it up, so I do have to do, an, do a little extra gluing, but if you get fabric, this just fabric just wasn't very thick, so if you get fabric thick enough, um, you don't have to do this, which would be awesome, but just uh, wrap it as tight as you can get it glue it in really well and that's it for the bottom of that then these are um deck this is deco mesh from the dollar tree gosh i can't think of what i'm doing i'm brain farting every five seconds um and i'm cutting i actually did not measure these at all um i eyeballed it and i was like oh they're probably about a nine inch nine inch strip so just cut them in nine inch strips or so and then take a bunch of pipe cleaners. I actually only needed about five pipe cleaners, five to six. I didn't use very many. I fold them in half, cut them in half, and then I'm taking three strips of the deco mesh and just loosely rolling them, pinching them in the center, securing them with a pipe cleaner, and that is going to be attached um, onto the top part of the wreath form. And just continue to do that until all of the deco mesh is gone. So this is what you should have and then of course like always I'm gonna make a cute little bow for it and as I said earlier I'm just gonna speed through these you've seen me do these bows several times and I can always do a um, in-depth bow tutorial later but this is Joanne's um, ribbon and looping it over on itself six times notching it securing it with a pipe cleaner and then I'm gonna grab another one and do the exact same thing um, and then fluff it out really well and attach it to the wreath.
a bunch of these um picks that I got at Joann's of course um last year after Christmas and I'm just clipping them down and putting them where I see fit I don't have any rhyme or reason to this I just thought it looked cute and fun and I, I really like um adding that to my wreaths where it's just kind of I feel like I say whimsical all the time but that's really the only way I can describe it and then I put this Santa hat in. I got that at Joann's last year as well. And I did go back later on and put in a couple of Dollar Tree plastic candy cane ornaments too. Just to jazz it up a bit. But here it is all finished. I think it's so adorable. But anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please let me know what you're crafting and um, if you're going to recreate any of these. My Instagram handle will be at the top of the screen. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. God bless.